No, I definitely did not forget. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Send her in. You know it's normal to be nervous for your first therapy session. Right. I'm just gonna start by asking you a few questions and then we'll work out the best direction to go from there, okay? After I have just a little form for you to fill out on how you think today went. Shall we start? There seems to be a lot going on here, Samantha. Can you call me Sam? Of course. Everything okay? Yeah, it's uh, nothing. Your arm. It's just an old pain vaccine, I think. You must have really pissed off the nurse. Seems like. It's a nice life you fabricated for yourself here. Helping patients through their traumas. I do whatever I can to help my clients with the expertise I've gained over the years. Hmm. No family photos, Dr. Hunt. You can call me Lily. Of course, not every combination of patient and therapist is successful. Some are incompatible. Is that so? Some just aren't ready to receive the help that they need. Well, I can assure you that that is not the case with me. I'm glad to hear it. You know, that's an interesting word choice. What is? Fabricated. Oh, I didn't even realize I used that word, to be honest. Are you being honest with me, Sam? Sorry? It's just not an accusation, just a question. What I mean to say is I want you to feel comfortable enough to be honest with me. I know it's not always easy, though. Sometimes people find it hard to be honest with themselves. Absolutely. Do you? I try to be honest with myself that Ryan Gosling will never know I exist. To start, right? Right. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Hello? Yeah, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to call. I know it's still early, Sam. 
But it doesn't seem like we're getting to the bottom of what you're really saying. What don't you get? I get everything, I just don't believe it. What? I feel as though there's a disconnect between you and the information you're giving me. Are you calling me a liar again? I never called you a liar in the first place, Sam. I feel as though there's information missing from your story. And I feel as though you aren't taking me seriously. Please, I, I please promise, Sam, don't. don't. Sam. I am taking you seriously. From what you're talking about, the things that you're saying, doesn't sound like you're talking about one person. Are you saying I have multiple personalities or something? No, I'm not talking about disassociative identity disorder. Then what? I'm saying it doesn't seem likely you're telling me everything when the pieces simply don't fit together. Tell me why they don't fit. All right. No history of violence or abuse. No suicidal thoughts, barely been depressed. No drugs, alcohol, or substance addictions of any kind, not even a caffeine problem. You're telling me that there's no family history of neurological or psychological disorders of any kind? Right. Right. And your childhood? Pretty much perfect. So after a nearly perfect, trauma-free childhood and a fulfilling and achievement-filled young adulthood, you suddenly, just now, out of nowhere, want to know what it's like to kill someone. I think you're full of shit. <laughs> wow! Wow! Wait, Lillian, are you being honest with me? We both know I am being way too honest right now. I don't think you're gonna want me to fill out one of those customer satisfaction surveys. Don't worry, I won't ask. The thing is, Sam, I am not some world-class therapist with groundbreaking techniques. At this point, I'm not sure I'm even a halfway decent therapist. But I believe in helping people find the root of their problems. I just also happen to believe in taking the most direct route to get there sometimes. And the most direct route today is telling you that you're full of shit. You seem pretty committed to this shit so far. Your credit card's being billed by the hour and my afternoon is clear, so you might as well just let me have it. But please, if all this is because you're writing some crappy murder mystery novel and looking for inspiration for your perfect little killer fantasy, don't list me as a fucking source. My answer hasn't changed. Okay. But what if you just feel so utterly compelled to just go out and cause chaos? Like, pick someone out of a crowd and just ruin their life. What if you do all of these horrible, unspeakable things and then you lose track of them? And you lose time and one day you end up just forgetting all about it. You forget the terror in their eyes. Then you forget the sound of them choking to death on their own blood. Sam. Are you still responsible? Are you monologuing? Are you still a killer? Sam, <laughs> I feel like I need to say, just in case I wasn't so initially totally clear, our confidentiality only goes so far. If I think that someone I'm is in not danger or crime that has I've been done committed, anything, I'm simply saying that these are questions I have. Yeah, I remember that part. You're being very specific, is the thing. Mm. And if I think that you're going to commit a crime, I have to report you. And you don't have to call the police. I think we might be done here, Sam. For what it's worth, 
I'm sorry for the blatant lack of professionalism. I'm not the right therapist for you, Sam, but somebody out there is. I don't know how long, but Sam, there's a cure. The violence, the thirst, it can all go away. You don't remember. There are pieces, moments, but you can let them go. You can let them go and live a normal life again. You can't you can be serious. Get this. Listen to me, Sam. Deep breaths, okay? Breathe. I can help you through this. Fuck. I'm a shit therapist, but this, this I can help you with. I know that I can. You did this to me! You were this creep that Lisa had on and watched me run. Yeah, Patty had just decided to go ahead and murder me. <laughs> Poor thing. The one time there isn't a creepy guy ogling you while you run, and I'm here instead. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Why not just hate the creepy guy? Everybody wins there. But unfortunately, the root of the problem is that I like playing with my food. And creeps that can't find you. See? You drop this. This is where you start screaming. What? Screaming. Samantha, are you there? Don't like Sam for short, no? 
please, please, please. Mm, I promise. Yeah. Don't. This is only going to hurt a little. And then it will hurt a lot. <laughs> you know, actually, maybe you should make some of those customer satisfaction questionnaire things. Then I'll know if it really does hurt or not. <gasps> Samantha, sweetheart, you do not need to call the police. I promise. Yeah? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to call. You know, if you're going to keep dropping this, maybe you're not responsible enough to keep it. Where were we? Please, please don't hurt me, please. Just uh, let me go. Sam. No, oh. Sam, but now I have worked up an appetite. Please, I just want to go home. Uh. I just this. I just this. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. I swear. I know. They all three didn't hold still. <laughs> Therapy 101, Lily never gaslight the client. It's just Lily. Now it is. You were Lillian for much, much longer. I'm a different person now. You're different. <laughs> yes. No, it doesn't mean you've changed in the ways that count. I promise I have. Your promises mean nothing to me. Why did you decide to become a therapist anyhow? I don't know. After the cure, I, I don't know. Well, I have certainly enjoyed our chats. What are you here for? I am looking for the root of my problem. Oh, look. I can't take back the things that I did to you. No. What can I do? You can answer my question from earlier. Which question? About responsibility, Lillian. What's wrong, Lillian? The past coming back to bite to you. What question? If a person does horrendous things and decides to just forget and move on and change. Are they still responsible? Are you still responsible? What do you want me to say? Not much, really. Then what? I want you to scream. Please, no. I want you to scream and run. Please. I don't have anywhere to go. It's a shame your secretary didn't get paid by the hour. Maybe she would have stuck around long enough to save you. But alas, that is the trouble with corporate greed. What are you trying over there, Miss Therapy? <laughs> that was just impolite. Who keeps a gun in their office, huh? That's the word of the day. You're responsible. You know, I used to be a vegetarian before I met you. Sometimes I think about going back to it, but uh, that would just be no fun. You didn't die on me, did you? Fuck! This is your courtesy alarm call. Oh, yeah. sorry, I didn't mean to call. Your automatic alarm system has been tripped. Please, we with you shortly. 
Well, shit. Well, it's been fun wasting a trip down memory lane. It's no fun when you shoot the patient, Dr. Hunt. That's why they call it work. <laughs> Feel free to not hold still. Are you still responsible? Are you still a killer? I am.